By the end of the year, Mayo Clinic will roll out a new test that can detect more than 50 cancers. WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly has the details on how the test works and who can get it. My dad, he was uh, a healthy guy. He didn't have any known risk factors for cancer. Dr. Julia Fagan lost her 40-year-old father to pancreatic cancer at 13. Diagnosed at stage three, he lived for nine more months. I strongly believe that purpose can be found in everything that happens. She's now part of a team rolling out a blood test called Gallery that she says can catch hard to detect aggressive and often deadly cancers like pancreatic, ovarian, and esophageal. More than 50 types in all. If cancers can be detected early, we can dramatically improve patients' outcomes. Dr. Fagan explains our blood contains a DNA signature. The blood test tracks the DNA a cancer cell sheds. The two tubes of patient blood drawn are sent to Gallery's lab for analysis. We can find and we can sequence these tiny bits of tumor-derived DNA in the blood and based on the patterns that we see, we can reveal if, if a signal for cancer is present. We can predict with very high accuracy where in the body this cancer signal is coming from. The results get sent back to the healthcare provider in 10 business days. An interventional study that included Mayo Clinic with 6,600 participants tested returned 29 signals that were followed by a cancer diagnosis. Another study found a less than 1% false positive rate. There are some caveats on who can get the test. It's intended to be used in individuals who are at an elevated risk for cancer. And elevated risk, this could be something as simple as age. And right now the test is prescription only. Insurance doesn't cover the test. You pay out of pocket with a current cost of $949. In the year 2021, um, this is so far beyond anything else we've ever been able to do. This is a game changer. Dr. Greg Plotnikoff has prescribed the test for patients and family members with risk factors, saying cancers caught early are in more treatable stages. But if we can catch things earlier, and we have the chance then of making a significant difference. He also chose to screen himself, being over 60. If there was any kind of signal, I wanted to know it. I wanted to be able to do something about it. The American Cancer Society says 71% of cancer deaths come from types of cancer that have no recommended screening. Fagan says they hope to change outcomes for families like hers in the future. It really presents an unprecedented opportunity to bend the cancer mortality curve and really save so many lives. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. M Health Fairview will also offer the test by the end of the year. It's meant to complement other screenings like mammograms or colonoscopies. The manufacturer is still working on full FDA approval. You should talk to your doctor to request the test.